reports now coming in from ISRO as far as India's moon mission is concerned. A tweet that has just been put out by ISRO is in fact confirming that the lander module's health is normal. The lander module successfully underwent a de-boosting operation that reduced its orbit to 113 kilometers. The second de-boosting operation is now scheduled for the 20th of August around 200 hours. So that's the big update that's coming in. That was the next stage that we were all awaiting for and that has also gone as per plan. This was the de-boosting stage. The update that is in fact now coming from ISRO is that post this de-boosting stage, the health of the lander module is absolutely normal as it continues on its trajectory to try for that soft landing and to ensure that India also adds its name in the list of other nations who've achieved this historical feat. Some pictures also now coming in and this is exactly what we were just pointing out. ISRO now confirming that the de-boosting stage has successfully happened, which essentially means that this the de-boosting stage also ensures that the lander now comes closer as far as the moon is concerned. Yesterday, remember, we pointed out to our viewers that that separation between the lander and the rover was successful. That was a key stage. And post that is this de-boosting stage. And now the update that's coming in from ISRO is that that de-boosting stage has successfully happened. The health of the lander is also normal. That's what the ISRO is now confirming. As I pointed out, this now makes the lander begin its descent and it moves much closer as far as the moon is concerned. And as I pointed out, now the next stage to watch out for will be the second deboosting stage, which is going to take place on the 20th of August. And then that attempt for soft landing, which will take place on the 23rd of August. So as of now, the confirmation that's coming in from ISRO is that all is going as per plan. Our Chandrayaan mission, our attempt for soft landing is currently happening as per plan. So the deep boosting maneuver, as we pointed out, this actually brings the uh, lander much closer as far as the moon's orbit is concerned so that it can attempt that soft landing going forward. Yesterday, as we pointed out, it was the crucial stage of separation between the lander and the rover. Now, essentially, what this means is the lander and the rover are in two separate orbits, but the lander posts this de-boosting stage that is going to happen in two bits. The first bit, as that's now being confirmed by ISRO, is going as per plan. The health of the lander module is also normal. Then there will be a second landing deboosting stage as far as the landing module is concerned, which will happen on the 20th of August. Let's also now bring in our colleague Srishti, who in fact has been keeping a close eye as far as all these developments are concerned. Srishti, so the big update that's coming in from ISRO is the deboosting stage has also happened successfully, which essentially means that the lander is now much closer to the moon. And now we can attempt that soft landing. But just for a layman or for a viewers, help us understand what this deboosting stage was and why was it so crucial as far as our soft landing is concerned? Yes, so uh, deboosting is a term uh, used by ISRO when it is trying to bring a spacecraft into a slightly lower orbit from the surface. So in this case, uh, when if you remember when on Thursday the propulsion module had separated from mm. the lander module, then the lander module, the purpose was to bring it down so that it reaches closer and closer to the lunar surface. Mm. So uh, today, uh, what ISRO has announced... Trishti, I apologize not... for interrupting. I'll just request you to stay on with us. We, in fact, also have the former ISRO chief, K. Sivan, also now joining us on the broadcast. So we appreciate you taking out the time and joining us here on CNN News 18. The update that's coming in from ISRO is that the deboosting stage has also been a success. Could you talk to our viewers about why this stage is so crucial as far as our landing process is concerned? Hello? Can you hear me, sir? Uh, tell me, tell me. Can you repeat? Yes, sure, uh, sure. No problem. Build. No problem, sir. Sir, the update that's come in from ISRO is that the deboosting stage has also been a success. Could you talk to our viewers about why this stage is so crucial as the lander attempts a soft landing going forward? Say that initially this uh, the lander was separated at a higher altitude when the orbit was the higher side, this one. 
for uh, the uh, for the lander to start journey for landing it is from 30 kilometers to uh, the, uh, it is start and it for till it's a touchdown so this orbit Uh, at the time of landing, it's supposed to be about 30 kilometer on one side, and the other side it'll be around 100 or around 50 kilometers. So slowly, we have to bring the uh, the craft to the required orbit of uh, 30 by 150 kilometers. So that is what this attempt is a very much essential uh, for uh, the deep, I mean, uh, landing maneuver. This one. So ISRO has also uh, told us in their tweet that there will now be a second deboosting operation or a second deboosting stage as well. So what happens in the next few days now? No, uh, they will be doing a lot of characterization and uh, the, the verification of the system and uh, that uh, sensor characterization and uh, the propulsion system performance evaluation. This type of things they will carry out during this period. Now going forward of course all eyes will be on that soft landing and this is where India missed the mark uh, last year what is the kind of work that has gone into ensure that this time around this is going to be a success now uh, this uh, based on that chandrayaan 2 flight data this uh, that uh, wherever that uh, improvements are required in the technical side in, the, in terms of propulsion system Current system and control system that improvements have been incorporated. Also, that is uh, wherever that uh, design margins are less, that is uh, have been increased. Also, that is that the redundancy management also it improved with the more number of redundant uh, uh, that uh, extra sensors. So, with the, all these things, that the system is more recognized than the Chandrayaan 2 when it was flying. so that way we are expecting that this time is going to be successful sir i want to understand one last aspect from you yesterday was one crucial stage where the lander and the rover successfully separated today the deboosting stage has also been a success post that what will be the other milestones to watch out for see there is a, first of all that is a, whatever that uh, the operations that have been carried out in space is each operation is, is a, a critical and a challenging only so nothing is a, a small and a easy job so that way i would say that uh, that all the operations are very critical and now that uh, whatever operations are going to happen also it's going to be critical I also want to understand the area, the location where India is targeting its soft land, the south side of the moon. This has not been uh, done before. Why is it so crucial for India to get this location? No, this uh, basically that India selected this uh, near South Pole region for landing mainly because it was unexplored area by mm. the other space agencies. Also, this area that is under the sun shadow. so we are expecting that something now some new science is going to be discovered by going there so that's the reason that we are aiming to go to the area the near south pole region okay so we'll have to leave that conversation there appreciate you joining us